Hi, my name is Andy. Welcome back to my channel. In this video, I'll be reviewing another second-hand Japanese surplus folding bike. This one here, it is the Tapone 20-inch folding bike. So here it is, the Tapone Japanese surplus folding bike. This one's had quite a lot of uh, modifications done to it. We'll just start by pointing out what's original on this bike. So this bike was bought online from a company in Czech Republic called Bikes to Town, which I believe no longer exists anymore, or as far as I, as my research has shown, it does no longer exist. And they shipped this out to London in a cardboard box, all folded up. Wasn't sure it was going to turn up, but it did. And £80 was the price. So when it arrived, it had um, original uh, slick tires, sort of had different different wheels on it, had the mud guards, no carrier, had different handlebars, and uh, just looked a lot different than it does today. So we'll start by going over the things on this bike that were original when it arrived. And the first thing, of course, was the frame. The frame is the steel frame, typical of these Japanese surplus folding bikes. The seat post is original, however the seat on this bike is swapped off my Beam bike, so my Beam Japanese bike originally had that seat and I put it onto this bike because this just had a really not a good seat on it when it arrived. The handlebars have been replaced, so they are not original. When it arrived, originally it had the two-piece telescopic handlebar with the um, the quick release um, halfway, and I've since replaced it with this one-piece steel folding handlebar. I just like it a bit better. It's a bit sturdier for touring. The carrier is original with the bike. Good uh, steel sturdy carrier. Now you can pick up a, a second hand carrier like this from a junk bike, maybe an old kids bike. I'll put a, a link up here to uh, my video cheap bike parts from the junkyard if you're interested in how I get some of the parts to fix up these bikes. The controls up here, nearly everything's been replaced. I think the the Rubber hand grips of the original. We've added the bell, GoPro mount, and of course these neat alloy brake levers. I like them a bit better than the plastic ones that originally came with it. And then uh, I've added the six speed Shimano lever shift, which works, just works great. You'll notice that it does have a front carrier, but that didn't come with the bike. What was on the bike originally when we got it was this mounting bracket for the carrier, but it didn't have the carrier. That's just a carrier that I got off Amazon that will need extensive modifications if you are going to modify it for a similar bike, if you want to fit it onto a similar Japanese folding bike. So you will need this part. If your bike doesn't have it, you won't be able to fit that, um, at least not the way that I've done it. But I'll show you the modification that I made to this carrier. So I've built a bracket here that attaches to the hard point here where the brakes attach to the forks. So I added that steel bracket, I just made that, and then drilled a couple of holes and uh, bolted it on there and then onto the forks. The other place that I've added a bracket is the steel bracket that I built here and I drilled a couple of holes through here to bolt it onto there. So there you go, that's how I put together the front carrier for this folding bike. The tires have been replaced with the all-terrain tires and the rims have been replaced with alloy rims, just they're a bit lighter and I prefer them. On the back Again, we've replaced this um, rear tire and rear rim, and you'll notice that it's got this drum brake, um, or as it's called here, band brake 
Uh, it's not super good this thing here. I would recommend having the V-brakes if you do have a place to bolt them onto your frame. This bike doesn't. Uh, it's made to have this um, drum brake. It's just not as easy to service yourself as some of the other brake types. The kickstand bolts on at the back axle as opposed to the ones that you'll see that bolt on in the middle of the frame. I mean that's okay, still works perfectly well. The crank is the original on this bike. Now these can get pretty bent. You've probably seen my other videos where I just use a vice grips um, to bend these back. If What happens is when you fold the bike, if you don't have this part here on your bike, some of these don't have that, um, you can sort of dump down the weight of the bike on to the crank, um, onto the cog, and it will bend. You can tell if it's bent because it will start throwing the chain. And um, I just look at it like that. You can tell that that one's pretty straight now. The pedals have been replaced just with normal pedals. Just a bit more sturdy for touring. And the gears here, typical six speed cluster with the Shimano derailleur. And it's got this cool cage that protects the, um, the gears from getting knocked about. It's kind of a cool feature there. So that's the Tapone Japanese surplus folding bike. It's kind of a typical steel frame folding bike that um, you might be able to pick up second hand. So I hope this video has been useful for you. If you are looking to buy a second hand folding bike, this is the type of thing that you might be able to find for pretty cheap. Now I'm going to go ahead and fold this bike so you can see just how it folds up. It's got the folding mechanism that is typical of these Japanese bikes that you release the quick release, push it up to disengage the pin and then you'll be able to fold it right. So I'll go ahead and show you how it folds up. There you go guys, that's the Tapone Japanese surplus folding bike. Paid £80 for it, but you can probably get it cheaper. I hope this video has been useful for you if you are going to buy a second hand folding bike. My name's Andy, you've been watching Hobo Cyclist, and I will see you in the next episode.